What is going on everyone? It is Mr. Warning Hazard with another upload to this channel and we are about 24 hours away from Call of Duty Ghost midnight launch and hopefully a lot of us will be able to get our hands on the game and start experiencing that new Call of Duty which a lot of people say it's the same every year. However, I would have to disagree. So I cannot wait to bring you guys new content for this game, bring you guys the game modes, different maps, different perks, guns, kill streaks, all that good stuff, and hopefully you guys will enjoy it and give me some feedback. Now I pre-ordered this game at GameStop and I pre-ordered it for five bucks. Now this gave me a few bonuses, however you could pre-order this game on Amazon and they would actually ship you the game the day of the launch however I don't think you get those bonuses but I think you do get a bonus but not the same bonuses as GameStop so since I pre-ordered this game at GameStop two bonuses I get is the free fall map which is you know the new map where it's a dynamic map and every few uh, minutes the tower shifts and everything in the building shifts to where your roots change and so do your cover so you have to be able to adapt those changes another thing that is a bonus is the call of duty ghost skin you can actually make your character look like ghost in the game so i thought that was pretty cool because in call of duty ghost you can actually customize your character and you can actually be a woman or a man so besides that, if you're planning on to upgrade from the current gen to the next gen, you can actually trade Call of Duty Ghosts from the Xbox 360 to Xbox One or PS3 to PS4 for only 10 bucks. So if you buy the game Call of Duty Ghosts for Xbox 360 for, let's say, $60, you can actually buy the Xbox One and trade in your Call of Duty Ghosts for the Xbox 360 for the Xbox One edition for only $10. So that is a pretty cool thing. Now another thing is that your Call of Duty Ghosts character stats transfers from Xbox 360 to Xbox One as well as PS3 to PS4. So if you are planning on upgrading to the next gen, it's not a bad idea just to go ahead and get the game because you can already get started with your stats and start playing the game and enjoying yourself for about 10 bucks because that's what the difference will be when you trade the game in from current gen to next gen. So I will hopefully be getting this game on Tuesday and I would like to go to the midnight release. However, the closest game stop to me is about 40 minutes away. So I wouldn't get home till about 1 and that would be a pain in my rear, especially on Tuesday. Now, I haven't been listening to very much Call of Duty Ghost news lately, and that's because in the past I've tried to keep up to date, but when the it just seems like when I get the game, it's like I've already seen all this stuff, and nothing looks new because I've seen so much news and so much stuff and content online that it looks like I've already played this game and that I've seen it. So this time when I got the game, I wanted it to be like a new game. However, everyone says that Call of Duty is the same every single year. But I wanted it to be fresh. I wanted new things to just come to me and be like, whoa, what the heck's that? And all that and let me figure it out. Rather than knowing three months ahead of the game before I even play it. Now I have watched gameplay of Call of Duty Ghost multiplayer and so far the gameplay reminds me so much of Call of Duty 4 as well as the menu looks. As you know these are the same makers that made COD 4 and they are making Call of Duty Ghost. So that will wrap up this video guys and I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a rating on the video and please leave a comment telling me whether you're going to the midnight release, when you're getting it, if you're getting it, why you're getting it, are you excited about it and also tell me how I did on the video. So hopefully you guys will subscribe for more videos, and I will see you soon. Later. Sniper's clear! Big win, job done.